So talking about the Australian Food Pyramid getting updated today. In Australia, 65% of adults are classified as being obese. That's huge. So Nutrition Australia set about redesigning the food pyramid to better explain what people should be eating. Nutrition Australia has made some bold new changes to the healthy eating pyramid, a staple of classrooms and kitchens throughout the country for 35 years. Fruit is now only a side dish, while vegetables make up the core of the new pyramid. Grains have been given their own special category as a primary fuel source. Added salt and sugar are gone, while hip foods like quinoa and couscous are now in their place. Tofu, beans and lentils have joined milk and meat on the pyramid to accurately reflect choices available in the modern Australian supermarket. The new pyramid also encourages drinking more water and to try adding herbs and spices to flavour foods instead of using salt. The food pyramid hasn't been updated for two decades. So what's good in the changes of the food pyramid? As you can see, the main change is that you should be eating mainly fruits and vegetables. Whole grains gets its own section, so good to see them recommending people to carb up. Junk food is totally removed. People encouraged to not use salt and use spices and herbs instead. The introductions of foods such as tofu, quinoa, soy milk, etc. So what's bad in the pyramid? Dairy and meats and eggs are still present. Oil being considered a healthy fat. The fruit portion is quite small. You see it's just a segment on the side of the vegetable portion. Overall, I think the changes are very positive. Uh, they needed to be done and hopefully this will help somewhat the obesity epidemic. Considering the changes to the pyramid were done with scientific backing, I'm surprised to see foods such as dairy and milk, cheese, meat, eggs still on there. Hopefully in the future this will get reduced or somewhat removed. I think the Australian pyramid is probably a bit clearer than the American one because you can see at a glance what foods you should eat and shouldn't eat. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it's a positive change? Do you think it matters at all? Do you think it's going to make any improvements? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and see you again soon. But if you eat more healthy food, the healthier you get, the healthier, and you can actually do free running, free.